Glenn Lal highlights alarming oil costs and revenue distribution in Guyana. Glenn Lal, a prominent media figure and advocate for greater transparency in Guyana's oil industry, has raised serious concerns regarding the financial burdens placed on the country in relation to its oil extraction operations. In a recent statement, Lal criticized the massive expenses Guyana is covering for oil exploration and extraction, as well as the disproportionate share of the oil revenue the nation receives. According to Lal, Guyana is paying approximately 3 million US dollars per day solely for oil exploration, an expense that other oil-producing nations, such as Suriname, do not accept. On top of this, Guyana is bearing the cost of establishing and maintaining the entire oil extraction infrastructure. This includes paying for the oil platforms, pumps, and FPSO, floating production storage and offloading vessels used by ExxonMobil, in addition to covering salaries, food, and transportation for workers involved in the operations. Lal pointed out that, despite these massive costs, Guyana's share of the oil revenue is extremely limited. When the oil comes up, Guyana only gets two barrels out of every hundred, Lal explained, referring to the country's minimal royalty rate. In a tone of frustration, Lal remarked, I expressed this to my neighbor, Donkey, and the donkey has been braying non-stop ever since, humorously alluding to the absurdity of the situation. He also commented on the general lack of public discourse around the issue, stating that while Guyanese are focused on local news stories about cricket, drugs, and minor scandals, there is little to no discussion about the significant financial losses the country is enduring. Lal concluded his remarks by urging greater awareness and reflection on the state of Guyana's oil industry. May God bless all of you, he said, leaving his audience with a call to action to focus on the larger issues impacting the country's future. Somebody explain this to me. Guyana is paying a massive amount of money just to search for oil. Three million a day. Look, it's there. Which many other oil countries like Suriname does not accept as an expense. Then we are paying billions of US more to set up the entire oil operation to extract the oil, which includes the oil platforms, the pumps, Exxon's meter, plus the ships, them called FPSO, that stores the oil until they're ready to ship it out. Basically, all expenses to bring up the oil, including the salaries, food, transportation, and others, Guyana is paying for. And when the oil comes up, <laughs> Guyana only gets two barrels out of every hundred, which they call royalty. Hmm. I expressed this to my neighbor donkey, and the donkey has been braying non-stop ever since. While all this going on, Guyanese busy braying over eggs on cricket and who get catch with cocaine and ganja. But not a single word or discussion you can hear about this insanity going on in this country. May God bless all of you.